Okay, so we've got this nice little portable television. And uh, these guys have been making electronics for a very long time. You know, um, as a gaming company usually these days. But uh, they've been in electronics business for a long, long time. This is a nice little find. Got channel selection buttons. I'm assuming you used to have to check what channel you wanted to watch. And this is how many channels were on TV. You had channel two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, in our area of Texas, we got four, five, eight. Uh, I think I had 11, 21, but you had to go to a special extra setting for that. Anyways, got a jack for headphones if you want to use your uh, friend's headphones and yours. Two people can watch color television together, I think, uh, from the early 80s. Let's take a look. I think there's a manufacturer nameplate in the back here we're going to look at. And it says... Uh, 1979, December, that was when this Mac was manufactured, the 70s, this thing right here is like 43 years old, 44, something, anyways, it's in great shape for that age, antenna, like brand new, Swing it around, extend it, that way you get a nice signal. Watch the game on Sunday or something. I don't know what you'd do with the TV this small. But this is also portable, rechargeable. In those times, it was unheard of to have that kind of electronics. A little side access door here. Slide to open. This door drops down. And then we got our adjustments here. Auto aft picture. I guess it's like a focus or something. Color. The Sony Trinitrons have been known for having the crispest, most beautiful picture possible for an old tube TV. Uh, different color adjustment. Got brightness. That's going to be all important. Just kind of put everything back about where I found it. That way, it may have already been tuned from whoever had it before. But, like I said, there was a battery to this thing. I honestly didn't know how to change a battery out on it. But luckily, it came with the original instruction booklet. The original receipt from Peter's TV. I think I paid $499 for this thing back in 79. Oh, 1980, uh, January, with tax of $30, $539.80, would get you this nice little portable TV. Now back then, that kind of money, you'd almost buy a car with that. Not joking, a new car too. Uh, we've got the basic schematic to tell you how to wire the TV, how to replace it. That's something you don't get anymore. It's got the freaking blueprints to how to make the TV. Every single piece would be in here if you ever wanted to order a replacement part, you just call Sony. Limited warranty, registration. The works. Now we got our fully color manual to explain how the Trinitron system works. The features. The semi-automatic program search system permits easy preset tuning up to 14 channels. Holy crap, can you imagine 14 channels at your fingertips any time? Wow. Never leave the house. Okay, and it's a breakdown 
all the features. If you want to pause, look over it closer, you can. Lots of features, hookups that tells you where the antenna is, how to pop open little secret doors. This thing's genius. How to hook up your battery. It's supposed to be a Sony battery in here. And that's how I figured out how to open it. Uh, hopefully somebody makes a battery these days because most likely it's not going to be good anymore. And this is way before lithium ions, so I have no idea how a battery would last on this guy. You're running a radiated tube TV. Color, sound. This thing had to be maybe pushing two hours on a battery charge. Uh, no details on what kind of battery it is. Oh, optional. Mm. Hopefully they got that option. I'm sure it's probably like a nickel, cadmium, might be alkaline battery. Oh, push the hood to block the sun. Whoa, do you see that? It's like a freaking machine gun. Oh, wow. That's worth $523 right there. How could somebody just let this go? I know the things doesn't receive channels anymore because they've gone to digital since way back then. You're not seeing the manual here. You can uh, put the numbers to your channels and change them. So uh, more programming on the channels, I guess. Anyways, let's get to work. Let's see. Uh, nothing about battery. Anyways, the original cable for power, almost like the PS2. Check this out. Original adapter. Of course, this is a Radio Shack adapter to give you the RF hookup. Another video I'll be playing Nintendo through this little guy onto that screen. Where we playing duck hunt maybe some other stuff we'll see how it goes but sony brand adapter so you can watch tv on this guy or play nintendo charging indicators power looks like it's worn out so it's probably been used quite a bit everything else is in great condition pop open the turnitron door channel up channel down Clear channel set, so I guess you can program and reprogram these through that volume. I don't know where the speaker is. I guess that's a speaker in the back. Hopefully, or on the side. Hmm. Um, let's open this guy. Okay, so it looks like I've got two screws right here. And then just four little feet. Should be able to just loosen these up. I'm trying to make it as fast as possible. I'm sorry now. Whoa. Okay, it doesn't look like you took the battery option. Yeah, there's some dust in there. this little thing up but imagine the size of the battery that went in this thing uh, screwdriver I think it's deep it's like four inches deep over 12 inches long uh. anyways here's battery pack Sony BP 37 watt only. Doesn't really say the kind. I wonder if they even made one. Put that to the side for now or hook that up later. 
for now. Gently. Let's see if this thing turns on. Backlit buttons, are you serious? Hang on. You see this? That's the future right there. I don't know where we went wrong. Technology like this. It should have been... <coughs> Holy crap. That was minimum, but it still went to maximum. That's very touchy. Why not? The 80s were strange. So, I guess we're not going to get any signal. What I heard, there used to be a channel that you could watch that just tells you go buy a digital converter. And I think that ran for like 10, 15 years, and then I guess I took that off the air. Anyways, it looks like it works pretty good, so the next thing we gotta do is hook up the NES to it, have some fun. First, I'm gonna give this thing cleaning. Alright, have a good day.